What's going on guys? Hope you all are having a great day out there today. So today I was going to go over a couple of cars here and um, some of the upgrades and things and maintenance that I just recently did to, especially the Creighton. Um, the other day when I was at the motocross track, uh, if you guys watched that video, I busted the rear bulkhead on it. And during the teardown of replacing the bulkhead, I was checking the mesh on my motor to make sure it wasn't too tight or loose. And I noticed there was a lot of weird play in the motor, and it was feeling really tight. It was still running, but it was not right at all. So I opened up the motor and found the front uh, bearing in the motor was completely shot. I pulled the shaft out of the center of the motor, and the bearing just completely fell apart. And the one in the back was just about to. Um, and I was doing a little bit of research, and I found out that this is kind of a common problem with a lot of the the 3S and 4S motors especially. Um, it's keep an eye on those bearings, guys. So, you know, I'd say, you know, check those things regularly or just replace them and put some good sealed bearings in there. You know, I've had this car now for about, I don't know, four or five months. And you see, guys, see how I run it. I do abuse a little bit. I've had it in the water. But... You know, if you guys have ran your cars about the same amount of time, I would definitely change out those bearings on that motor before you have a major problem. Because if that bearing completely goes and explodes, it'll tear apart the inside of your motor, and then you have to buy a new motor. So definitely keep an eye on that one there. Um, as far as any other upgrades I've got going on, uh, the crawler, I had busted the drive shaft on the rear on this thing a few days ago when my nephew was driving it. So I went down to the local hobby shop, and they had a set... Of these nice hardened steel drive shafts really nicely made seem like they should hold up pretty well so pretty much everything in my drive line on this thing is now steel or aluminum We've got the drive shafts made you know or steel now the steel uh, the steel spur gear um changed the motor out put a steel um, drive gear on this replaced the gear case on it with the aluminum gear case with the steel gears inside now so hopefully this thing should be pretty bulletproof so Next, I want to bust out the Outcast and just show you what else I got for that so far. I'll pull that down next. All right, so we got the Outcast down here now. So the parts for this thing um, have been kind of trickling in in the mail here. I was hoping everything was going to show up at once, but that's the way the postal service and all the shipping stuff seems to be going these days. But I did get in the Hot Racing front um, chassis brace. I'm still waiting for the rear one. And I don't know if I had showed these, but these were the stainless steel skid plates I got from this thing. They're also from Hot Racing. Um, seem to be holding up, working pretty nicely. The front one goes underneath this uh, RPM bumper, so it's not really doing as much good, I know. And on that one crash, you guys probably seen the video um, when I was at the motocross track when I broke my record with this thing. The only thing that did happen that day was it pulled one of the screws through this bumper. So that's why that different screw and washer are on there. So... But that is pretty much it for the outcast at the moment. Um, just waiting for the other parts to come for it still so I can get this thing back together. And um, we'll be excited to take this thing out again. One other thing on this Creighton. Uh, I can't say enough about this new ESC fan, guys. So if you're going to change one out, um, look at upgrade or replace your uh ESC cooling fan, I would definitely take a look at these Yeah Racing uh, Tornado fans. They push so much more air. Um, definitely keeping that thing nice and cool. So if you guys are looking to upgrade or change those out, I would definitely give that a look. All right, so I pulled the Creighton 6S down here for a minute just to kind of go over some future plans with this thing. Um, probably anything I'm going to get this thing, you know, pretty quickly here are going to be the center aluminum braces. I'm going to change these out. And obviously change out the A-arms to the RPM stuff. You know, I've always had pretty good luck with that stuff. So I will be changing those out for sure. Um, I was going to change out the shock oil on this thing. But honestly, the shocks on this thing feel really nice just in its stock form. You know, it feels nice and soft at the beginnings. And down at the end, it's got some good stiffness to it. So I think it might work out pretty good. But we'll have to take it down to the motocross track and give it a proper beating to see how she actually performs and if I want to change those out. But right now, everything feels really nice. So the only other thing I'm probably going to do with it is going to get the hot racing front and rear skid guards for it like I put on the Outcast because it helped protect that frame a little bit and uh, stiffen it up a bit. So we'll see how she does here. So far, 
cars runs really good i haven't even got to open this thing up whoops <laughs> got to open this thing up the whole way yet but we'll see how she performs down there hopefully in the next day or two i'll get to go down there they've been doing some work on the track so i couldn't go down there today so hopefully tomorrow all right guys so here's where i'm asking for some help if anybody out there has the answer to this question or can figure it out um, I have the FlySky FS GT3B transmitter, and in all of my cars, I have the FS GR3E receivers for it. Um, I have it in all eight of my cars. The only one I don't have it in so far is the new Creighton. But what I want to do is upgrade and change out to the GT5 transmitter, and I need to find out if the GT5 transmitter will pair with the GTR3E receivers. So if anybody knows that answer or could find that um, or has ever done it before, please leave a comment down below and let me know. I've been trying to figure this question out um, for the last few weeks, and I just can't seem to get a clear answer on it. So if you guys know, I'd really appreciate the help a lot, guys. So that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Y'all be safe out there. Take care of each other. Peace out, everybody.